Hey, Jason Gaddis here with The Smart Couple. Today, I wanna to talk to you about why little things turn into big things and why that creates problems in a marriage or a relationship. So if you don't deal with the little shit, you're gonna be dealing with big shit. You know this because every, you know, there's been some time in your relationship where your partner has done something and you kind of explode or you have a reaction that's like, whoa, you step back and you're like, geez. Or they have a reaction that's like, doesn't really fit the crime. That's a sign that there's a buried resentment somewhere going on that you haven't spoken up about and you have been betraying yourself and too scared to tell the truth with someone. So I'm a big fan of not letting little things go and let little things slide and instead addressing the little things as they arise. Hey honey, do you mind putting the keys here instead of there? Or when you do leave your shoes there by the front door, um, it just frustrates me and I'd rather have you put them in the closet or your coat on the couch instead of there, put it on, you know, hang it up. These kind of things can turn into big fights. So it matters that you speak up and advocate for yourself. Even if you're being quote needy or too dramatic or high maintenance, who cares what the label is that your partner gives you? Advocate for yourself. You're sensitive. Little things matter sometimes. It doesn't mean um, you have to nitpick every little thing. We're not talking about that and complaining. We're talking about naming that you're having a reaction that's yours, it's your reaction, and you're gonna work on it. So remember, resentments is probably the sign that it's turned into a big thing. So address resentments. Click the link below if you wanna learn more about how to clear a resentment in say under 10 minutes. And I think you're gonna find that little things don't turn into big things. Okay, hopefully this has been helpful and we'll see you next time.